In this part one of Apache Web Server and WebLogic integration, we will learn about the basic concepts of plugins. And then in part two, we will implement the Apache Web Server along with the WebLogic. Okay, so plugin is plays a very important role in, in when specifically when we talk about uh, uh, the web servers and the WebLogic integration because all the traffic diverted from your web server to WebLogic with the help of plugins. Okay, and apart from that, uh, there are a lot of parameters that you can configure related with the plugins for the application enhancements and for performance tuning. Now, what are Oracle WebLogic Server plugins? Okay, so web server plugins allow requests to be proxied from Oracle HTTP Server, Apache HTTP Server, or Microsoft Internet Information Server to Oracle WebLogic Server. So that means is whatever the OHS or whatever the web server that you are using, okay, whether it is a OHS from Oracle or it is a open source Apache or IAS from Microsoft, okay, if you need to redirect the traffic from any of the web server to WebLogic server, then you have to configure the specific corresponding plugins. That means there is a specific plugin comes from the Oracle, okay, that is specifically for a particular web server, okay. So if, for example, if you are using Oracle OHS server, then there would be a different plugin. If you are going to, to use Apache HTTP server or maybe IIS, then there could be different or maybe the same uh, plugins, okay. So the plugin enhance an HTTP server installation by allowing Oracle WebLogic server to handle requests that require dynamically functionality, dynamic functionality. What does it mean is that apart from we all know that uh, web servers basically handle the, all the static requests. The static requests in the sense that you have a basic HTML pages along with some videos and then uh, audios or maybe some other HTML pages, okay? Then those are all the static content, but when you need to execute the business functionalities, business logic, okay, where your application server come in picture because that where we develop the applications like in Java and then, or in advanced Java, and then that business logic is executed the JVM at the WebLogic server side, right? So your web server is not capable to handle such kind of dynamic functionalities, right, for the execution of business logic. And for that, we redirect the request to backend WebLogic servers. So what does it mean that when you have plugin that your static request can be handled by your uh, web server, which could be Apache or OHS or IIS. Okay. And for the dynamic functionalities, your plugin will uh, redirect the request to your backend application server. So in other words, you typically use a plugin where the HTTP servers, static pages such as HTML pages with Oracle WebLogic servers serve dynamic pages such as HTTP servlets and JSPs. Right. So it's the same thing that your web server is handling your static request and then your web logic server, which is application server, which is handling your dynamic request. Okay. And then third important property uh, with respect to the plugins is called connection pooling and keep alive. Okay. That means similar to if you know about the concept of data source, which is a ready to use connections from the database. Similarly, because your web server redirect the request to backend application server, Okay, so there could be n number of managed servers in the backend where your applications are deployed. Okay, so your correction pooling that means keep alive is another parameter using your web server, which keep the status of each and every managed server which is running in the backend, which one is a healthy and which one is not in healthy or good state. Okay, and with the combination of certain parameters, you can uh, configure a functionality where if any of the backend your when a server is not uh, active at, at any particular time or get crashed due to any reasons, then you don't need to divert the request to that server, right? Because that is down. So in that case time, you are plugging will keep the status of only running managed servers in the connection pool. Okay, so the plugin improve performance using a pool of connections from the plugin to Oracle WebLogic server. That means it, it will keep the healthy connections in the pool that means wherever the WebLogic server is running in the backend. The plugin implement HTTP 1.1 keep alive connections between the plugin and Oracle WebLogic server by reusing the same connection for subsequent requests from the same plugins, okay? So similar to data source where the, your performance get increased because it is a ready to use connection which is already established your data, with your database. Similarly, this pool is also a, a active connection pool, okay? Which that means there is a connection which is already established with your backend application server. Okay, so if the connection is inactive for more than 20 seconds or as user defined amount of time, the connection is closed. Okay, so that means if your 
correction is uh, which is uh, given to your application right for to correct with the application server okay if it is inactive for 20 seconds or maybe according to the defined amount of time which you can define with the help of parameter in your configuration file of web server okay that connection will get close so this is certain some kind of a functionalities of your plugins okay but apart from that there are a lot of other parameters are there which comes for the yeah. tuning of your plugins now when we talk about the proxying of request that means where you are forwarding your request okay then plugin proxies request to a request to project server based on a configuration that you specify so what does it mean you can proxy request based on the url of the request or a portion of the url that is called proxying by path that means if you have a certain kind of a url from there you want to redirect the request to backend application server then you can specify the proxying as a by path Okay, for example, if you have a WebLogic server in the backend and you want to redirect your traffic from your web server to your uh, admin console, that means you wanted to access the admin console from the web server, then you can uh, define this particular parameter in your Apache or in OHS configuration file with location as slash console, right? Because you are going to access the admin console. So this is called proxying by path and second is there's a proxying by file extension okay for example if you have a lot of uh, html files a lot of gsv files okay which you want to redirect to your uh, application servers so in that case you can define a particular uh, uh, context that is shown on the screen okay and that is called proxying by file extension so here what i'm doing is that i have certain jsps which is i have deployed on my uh, web logic uh, managed server okay or maybe could be on the admin server also okay which is running on port 7001 okay and then all the jsp is request in my url okay it will try to redirect to this particular server and you can also specify additional parameters for each of these type of requests that define additional behavior of the plugins that means apart from that there are a lot of configuration parameters are there related with the plugins that you can configure according to your applications okay and for proxying request from oracle http server to oracle web logic server use mod underscore wl underscore ohs plugin so that means when we configure the oracle http server then there is a plugin with name mod underscore wl underscore ohs which plugin which is used okay which is similar to the plugin for the apache server that means there is another plugin that comes specifically for the apache server which is almost same but need not to be downloaded and installed that means when you are configuring your uh, WebLogic server with Oracle HTTP server, then you don't need to download any of the plugins. It automatically comes bundled with the WebLogic. Okay. And, but when you are configuring your Apache HTTP server with WebLogic, then you have to download the plugins from the Oracle website. And then you have to copy it in certain location. And then you need to configure your web server to use this particular plugin file. Right. So Apache HTTP server plugin modules for both 2.2 and 2.4 are shipped with 12.2.1.4.0 plugins in distributions. Okay. That means you have uh, a link in your e-delivery of Oracle or maybe from the uh, MyOracle support. From there, you can download the plugins for Apache 2.2 and 2.4. And so 2.2 is no longer supported as of now. Only 2.4 is supported. Okay. So that, that means if you are using Apache web server 2.2 as of now, okay? And then you have to upgrade it to 2.4 and then you can use the plugins for the redirection, okay? And once you will download the plugins from the Oracle website, okay, for the integrations, okay? Then Apache 2.2 plugin will come with the name of mod underscore wl.so, okay? All the plugins will come with the name with extension dot so. And for 2.4, Apache 2.4 version, the module name will be mod underscore wl underscore 24 dot so, so this is specifically for the two Apache 2.4 versions. So availability you can download from the Oracle website, maybe from the e-delivery or maybe from the My Oracle support. Okay, and when you have a web server of Oracle HTTP server, then you don't need to download any plugin. It come already come with the with the WebLogic server. But if you are going to use Apache Web Server 2.4 or maybe the Microsoft IIS server 8.5 and 10. Okay, then you have to log into support.oracle.com or maybe to edelivery.com where you can create a free account as well. Okay, and then from there you can download the particular plugins. Okay, so this is a screenshot where you can go to edelivery and then how you can search for the plugin is just type Oracle Web Logic Server plugins. It will display all the versions of plugins. You can download the latest one, which is 12.2.1.4.0. Okay, and because I have configured in my Windows machine, so I have selected the platform as Microsoft Windows X24. And if you are downloading it for Linux, Solaris, then you can select the particular language platforms. Okay, and inside the plugin directory or the, the software that you will download, you will have a 
certain files. One is the readme.txt. Second is the rapki.bat, which is the uh, wallet file, wallet configuration file. If you are going to configure your uh, web server for SSL, then you, you need this rapki file to create the different wallets for your SSL certificates, okay? And then apart from that, you have a JLib directory where you will see a lot of JAR files, which is the actually the Aura PKI helper Java libraries, okay? And then you will have a file name with name mod underscore so inside lib, which will be a proxy module file for Apache 2.2. And there would be other SO files inside the library that is the hel helper libraries for your plugins. And for 2.4, 2.4 Apache, you will have a plugin file with name mod underscore wl underscore 24 dot so. so this is all about uh, the plugins, okay? And stay tuned for the part two as well. Thank you.